Would you please remain standing for the presentation of the colors? Now would you please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Tristan Stiggers, and, and this is W.W. W. Samuel, 2000, class of 2012 graduation. You may now be seated. It is my honor to present our principal, Mr. Israel Cordero. He is a gentleman who has accomplished many features throughout his historical career in education, which began at Southern Methodist University. As he pursued his Bachelor of Arts in English with a concentration in secondary education, this educational pathway opened the doors to a teaching position as a certified talented and gifted teacher at W.W. Samuel High School. In August of 2008, Israel Cadero found himself accepting a position offer as head principal at W.W. Samuel High School. By accepting this opportunity, he would inherit year four an academically unacceptable school in danger of being closed. With the student body exceeding 2,100 students, in addition to approximately 230 staff members, in 2009, Mr. Israel Cadero, leadership of the teachers and staff of the students were able to keep W.W. Simmon High School from closing. By moving the campus from being AU4 to academically acceptable. Impressively, 
in 2010, W.W. Sammy High School met AYP for the first year ever, indubitably uh, on behalf of its resilient leader, Mr. Israel Cadero. Personal accomplishments include being a 2009 finalist for Texan of the Year, in addition to being honored by being named the Southeast Dallas Chamber of Commerce Principal of the Year. Please join me in bringing up our principal, Mr. Israel Cadero. Good evening, seniors. Uh, parents and guests, as we begin our 55th commencement exercise, just want to ask you to work with us. Uh, the acoustics in the field house uh, do echo throughout the arena, so if you could just help us by holding your applause uh, until the very end when we do announce accolades on behalf of the seniors. And if you could just work with us as we move through the program uh, so that everyone can have an opportunity to hear uh, the great news that we want to share with you about the senior class of 2012. At this time, I would like to thank everyone that is here at the Ellis Davis Fieldhouse for joining us this evening as we congratulate our seniors uh, 2012 for a job well done. Teachers, counselors, and staff of Samuel High School uh, those that are, of you that are here in the field house, we want to thank you for being here this evening. And we appreciate everything you do for the students of Samuel High School. We do have a couple of other guests in the building, and I just want to quickly acknowledge them as we move through the program. Uh, we do have principals from our feeder pattern that have known many of the students since they were in grade school. And I would just like them to quickly stand so that we can acknowledge their presence. Thank you. We also have with us a uh, school board member from, that represents District 4, uh, Miss Nancy Bingham. If you could please stand. And also, we certainly want to recognize uh, Mr. Leslie Williams, the Central Learning Community Senior Executive Director. So if you could join me in a round of applause for Mr. Williams. I do want to give you a couple of great accolades about this senior class. And if you could hold your applause until the very end, we would appreciate it. Uh, first of all, sitting before me today, we have exactly 279 graduating seniors. Uh, we are so excited that you all are all here today uh, representing one of the larger classes for Samuel High School. We also have a record number of seniors who have applied and been accepted to two-year and four-year universities. In fact, uh, approximately 85 to 90 percent of the seniors that are here before me have applied and been accepted to two- and four-year universities. Seniors, if you have been accepted to a two-year or four-year university, would you please stand? Thank you. You may be seated. We also have the largest group of seniors in the history of the school that is graduating with up to 18 hours of college credit. We have 38 seniors graduating with college credit. If you are one of those 38 seniors, will you please stand? Thank you. And parents, as many of you well know, Samuel High School has the best uh, AVID program in all of Dallas ISD. This year, we have 52 graduating seniors from our AVID program. 100% of those seniors are graduating from high school, and 100% are attending a two- or four-year university. If you are one of the 52, will you please stand?
Thank you. And certainly, we cannot forget the seniors who are graduating top 10 in their class. Seniors, if you are graduating top 10 in your class, top 10%, will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. You may be seated. Padres, uh, no más les queremos decir muchas gracias por venir esta noche a, la, a celebrar la graduación de sus hijos. Uh, ojalá la presentación de la graduación uh, sea una memoria que nunca se pueda olvidar. At this time, uh, I do want to tell all of the parents Thank you for being here with us, celebrating your children's, uh, your son, your daughter's uh, graduating year, class of 2012. We know it's been a great partnership between you, the school, and the students sitting before me here today. And at this time, before we do call our next speakers, I would like to read the statement of decorum for you. Your graduate has asked that you treat this exercise with the utmost respect, every graduate deserves to hear his or her name announced. Noisemakers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractors are not conducive to maintaining the dignity and grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause and congratulatory yells until after all of the names have been called so that the next name called can be clearly heard. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified ceremony, dignified graduation ceremony. At this time, our salutatorian, Kevin Vasquez, and valedictorian, Manuel Gutierrez, have a few words to impart upon us. At this time our salutatorian will take the stage. Good evening. Good evening. Woo! <clears throat> My name is Kevin Vasquez, and I am the salutatorian for the Spartan class of 2012. <clears throat> First of all, I would like to thank all the special guests who are present here with us today. I would also like to thank all the parents, guardians, students, teachers, administrators, counselors, and the senior sponsors for their hard work. Give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> While I was writing this speech, I really didn't know where to start. I had tried to start several times, but none of them satisfied me. Finally, I came to a stop. For some reason, I had a flashback of some of my classmates jumping out a window. Then a flashback of the day we all froze in art class to make our beloved teacher think that time had stopped. Still, to this day, I remember her remarks. A lot of these started to make their way in my mind. The ones I really enjoyed were when everybody would hang out and just sit there and talk about how we met each other and have our to be honest moments. My fellow seniors, as you look around you, you'll see your peers. These people are the ones who have stuck with you since freshman year. Some of us can recall memory about these people, and for others, it may be many of them. Emotions and the understanding of each other is something I believe, it, believe to be the best thing about being human. These past few years, I have met so many people, 
had so many cherished memories, but recently I had the most impactful sense of all, that of emotion. That feeling of belonging started to take place in my daily school life. It switched the routine of just going to school because I had to, and to going to school because I wanted to. The events such as the homecoming game, our senior activities, our parties, which many of us hopefully can recall, and just simply sitting in class. We all share some type of memory about all of us. We always had one in another's back. We all trust each other. Like many of us in the Spartan class of 2012 would say, we are one big family. For many of us, the 12 or 13 years of school have finally paid off. As some of the future graduates sit here thinking of the excitement of the ceremony and the, and the after parties that follow, others think about what lies in the future. For the majority of us, this is the beginning of our lives. This is the first stepping stone for what is yet to follow. In order to keep on succeeding, we need the characteristics of a leader. We are the ones who decide what we do. We are our own motivators. I would like to acknowledge two of my close friends that helped me become the being I am today. The first is my freshman year friend, the guy who always had my back every time since I met him, Juan Diaz. He showed me how to be a sociable person and how to value friendship. I see him as Woody from Walt Disney's Toy Story because of the way he displays loyalty to his friends and because of him, I became a sociable person. The second person is a friend who gave me the inspiration to try harder, to make me push my limits. My friend, my competitor, Mario Gutierrez. This person made me realize that education is a key essential to be successful in life. These two people show me what a leader is. A leader has to be wise with his choices and also has to have the ability to create relationships that can last a lifetime. There are many more people that have influenced me, but today, you're, these are the main two. <clears throat> Again, I stand today not to remind you of what we are here for, but what we should do afterward. The moment you walk this stage is the moment you step into the real world, a world that is unknown to us. However, we are the future of our dear planet, and we must take care of its system, the system established by our ancestors. As future ambassadors of the world, we must excel lead and empower in every obstacle of life. This might be the last time I stand in front of you until our high school reunion and the last time we are all together. But remember, we all exist in each other's heart and memories. Show no mercy to the world and excel to the greatest heights ever achieved because you only live once. A quote that really pushes me is by Reverend Samuel Kyles. You can kill the dreamer, but you cannot kill the dream. Now, for everyone that is present here today, no matter what age you are, what occupation you hold, or what circumstances you are in, believe in your dream. Let it guide you. Let it be your motivator. Let it be your happiness. It's never too late to start on your dream. Let it be a path for others to follow. Leave a legacy. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Manuel Gutierrez, and I'm the valedictorian in the graduating class of 2012. <laughs> Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Manuel Gutierrez. Soy el estudiante con el promedio más alto de la clase del 2012. As the valedictorian of any school, the greatest challenge in high school is addressing the class during graduation. I have faced many academic challenges thanks to my physics, English, and calculus courses. However, out of all the assignments I have faced this year, I must confess that this was the most challenging one. In the pursuit of motivational speech, I searched numerous amounts of sources. Unfortunately, I was not able to find anything. A couple of weeks ago, as I picked up my siblings from school, I heard a few elementary school students praising Samuel High School for the early college that will open up next year. At that moment, I realized that there is nothing more inspirational than the story that we have written together for four years, the story of the class of 2012. We have lived many adventures together. We have worked together, we have laughed together, we have cried together, and most important of all, we have accomplished great things together. Sadly enough, today is the last day we spent together as a class. I realized it was the beginning of the end during the last day of school, when every individual took his own path heading to a different destination. At that moment, I realized that the event was just a preview of the things to come in the near future. From this point, every single individual will take a different path while pursuing a common goal, accomplishing their dream. I must, I must confess that it was very sad to realize the great change coming ahead and the fact that the good things come to an end at some point. It was sad to realize the truth. However, the bittersweet feeling changed to pride when one of my friends stated, who cares if we become Maggies, Longhorns, Raiders, Pioneers, etc. At the end, none of that matters, because we all started out as Spartans. After today, we will no longer work together. However, our dreams and accomplishments will continue to tie us back to our place of origin, W.W. Samuel High School. I have realized that life is not easy at all. There are many obstacles present along the path that leads to the accomplishments of our goals. At this point, we begin another phase in our lives. During this phase, we start the transition from dependence on our parents to independence. Our parents or teachers will no longer be present to shed light on the path. From now on, we depend on the tools we have been equipped with in order to achieve our dreams. I wish I could lie to you all and say that life will be very easy from now on. However, that is not the case. In the pursuit of our dreams, there will be many obstacles along the way. At some point, we will feel like giving up at that point, I would like for you all to remember the story of the class of 2012. We came in through the main door four years ago. We were just incoming freshmen starting our high school career on a campus that was about to be closed due to low academic performance. As a freshman, we were the largest class. Therefore, we were the majority on the campus. Despite the challenge, we worked together as a family, as a team, as a single human being. Thanks to the collective effort of everyone on the campus, we were able to keep our school open. From that point, we have kept our school moving forward. This year, Samuel High School will have more than 30 students graduating with up to 18 hours of college credit. The class of 2012 has established the foundation of an early college that will open next year. Stories of success are present everywhere in the campus. Despite our obstacles in life, many students have excelled. Despite obstacles, the class of 2012 has excelled. <laughs> it is important to address the fact that we did not make it to where we are today by ourselves. We have been well prepared by all the adults that have been pre present in our lives. It is imperative to thank our teachers, counselors, administrators, and most important of all, our parents. I would like to thank take a few seconds to address all the Spanish-speaking parents in the audience.
Me gustaría agradecer a todos los padres en general, quienes nunca dejan de apoyar a sus hijos a pesar de todo. En especial, me gustaría agradecer a dos personas que nunca han dejado de apoyarme a pesar de todos los obstáculos que se nos han presentado. Gracias papá y mamá por seguirme apoyando en la lucha por alcanzar mi sueño de terminar la preparatoria e ir a la universidad. Gracias por sacrificarse para que sus hijos tengan lo que desafortunadamente ustedes no pudieron tener. Les prometo que sus esfuerzos no serán en vano. Gracias a mis tíos, quienes han apoyado a mi familia en las buenas y en las malas. I would also like to thank a few people who have inspired me to excel in every single aspect. Salvador Vadillo, Moises Carmona, Kevin Vasquez, and Ashley Willingham. Your stories of success and your constant support and friendship have kept me going during tough times. There are a lot of classmates and friends who have contributed to my su success as well. However, it will take hours to mention every single one of them. To conclude, I would like to restate what I mentioned earlier. Class 2012, the greatest inspiration that we had to keep on going is present right within our memories at Samuel High School. All the accomplishments we have obtained should be used as evidence to prove our strength and potential to be successful. Finally, I would like to share a memory of my childhood with you all. In the anime series Dragon Ball Z, the main character, Goku, was a Saiyan. According to the series, a Saiyan is a being that becomes substantially stronger after a near-death experience caused by the aftermath of a battle. We all have that char characteristic within us. In our case, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Congratulations, class of 2012. Good afternoon, I'm DeMarco Simpson. I will be introducing the guest speaker. I will first want to say, class 2012, we finally made it. But, but we couldn't have did it by ourselves. We had our parents, we had people like AJ, Ms. Sloan, Ms. Winkley, and most of all, Ms. Hobson. So don't forget, thank everybody. Nansen Bingham, District 4 trustee for the past eight years, represents Southeast Dallas, Seagullville, Fall Springs, and Pleasant Grove on our school board. Ms. Bingham earned a Bachelor of Arts in Elementary ed Education from the University of Mary Hart at Baylor in Marist Education and Reading, especially a certification from Texas A&M Commerce. A teacher for 32 years in the Dallas residence since 1959, Ms. Bingham retired from the Mesquite Independent School District in 2004 where she had taught remedial reading, English as a second language, and honors reading at secondary level. She and her husband, Jimmy, who was a 1967 graduate of W.W. Samuel, are active members of Oak Grove Baptist Church, where he serves as deacon, and she serves as a Bible study teacher. Please help me welcome Nancy Bingham. It is wonderful to be here this evening to honor each of you, the 2012 graduates of W.W. W. Samuel High School, for having successfully completed your high school careers and for realizing how important earning a diploma is to your future. A diploma opens doors that otherwise might have remained closed. And a diploma expands the expectations you can have of the future and your success in life. As Sam Walton, the successful businessman who founded Walmart and Sam's once said, expectations are the key to everything. Walton and other successful individuals know that when we hold high expectations, success is the result. Jack Nicholas, 
widely regarded as the most accomplished professional golfer of all time, put it this way, achievement is largely the product of steadily raising one's levels of aspirations and expectations. In other words, never sell yourself short. Expect the best of yourself and then do what is necessary to make the expectations a reality. What is necessary? Though there are many personal attributes that the experts identify as helping individuals become successful, I am going to itemize just six this evening that I believe are key. These are, number one, self-motivation and initiative. Don't wait on someone else. Just get started. Number two, integrity. Have a set of principles. Number three, a strong sense of responsibility. Be aware of your obligations. Number four, professional skills. Learn the skills that companies value. Number five, the ability to work under pressure. Learn ways to handle stress. And number six, believe in yourself. Develop self-confidence and leadership skills. As Marva Collins, an esteemed American educator, once said, success doesn't come to you, you go to it. So congratulations, W.W. W. Samuel, class of 2012. Thank you, Ms. Bingham. Students, staff, and parents, there, there is one group of adults that I, I did not mention earlier, and I do want to give them uh, the respect in recognizing them now. Uh, Samuel High School's associate principal, Ms. Felicia Johnson, could you please stand? And the Samuel High School administrative team, could you please stand? Samuel High School administrative team, could you please stand? Seniors, before we move to the next part, I want to tell you we are absolutely pleased with the level of courtesy that you're displaying. Thank you so much. Also, I want to tell all of the ladies how beautiful you look and the young men how handsome you look. And uh, are you all ready to move on to the next part? We've got some great parts for you here. In a minute when I read this, you'll just read this part here. Senior class of 2012, would you please stand? I can get everyone's attention. Seniors, it is my pleasure to announce the following. As principal of W.W. W. Samuel High School, I hereby affirm that each of these candidates has met all the requirements for graduation as required by the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District, and they are qualified to receive their diplomas or they are otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. I am pleased, I am pleased to award these diplomas 
certifying that they are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. Seniors, you may be seated. Manuel Gutierrez. If I could have the first row, please stand. Manuel Gutierrez. Kevin Vasquez. Tristan Stiggers. DeMarco Simpson. Erica Martinez. Liliana Lopez. Emmanuel Torres. Estefania Rodriguez. Shatarian Smith. Ashley Willingham. Moises Carmona. Angeles Perez. Ramiro Torres. Salvador Vadillo. Jacqueline Martinez. Edna Rodriguez. Brenda Rodriguez. Plez Staggs. Jocelyn Tonche. Jasmine Jones. Gemma Clemente. Karina Esparza. Luis Robles. Jetta Dowell. Marina Cabriales. Ashley Von Warren. Rosa Duran. Chelsea Griggs. Urban Acosta. Celeste Aguirre. Stephanie Aldaco. Darian Allen. <laughs> Guillermo Alvarez. <laughs> Irvin Alvarez. <laughs> Maria Alvarez. <laughs> Juan Andrade. <laughs> Miguel Argueo. Orlando Asensio. Andrea Ayala. Omar Valdazo. 
Jose Barajas. Daniela Bassan. Dierica Beavers. Maribel Benitez. Tavaria Berry. Dominique Bigham. Darian Blewett. Angelica Bocanegra. Shannon Brent. Kiara Brown. Shaquisha Brown. Brandy Butler. Julia Cabrera. Angel Cabriales. Zachary Callahan. Ivan Callejas. Michelle Campos. Giovanni Campusano. Adarian Kennedy. Jose Alejandro Canizales. Christian Carmona. Melissa Stephanie Castillo. Veronica Castro. Elmer Catalan. Anthony Cervantes. Victor Chavez. Desiree Collins. Sequisha Colquitt. Naeem Covington. Erica Crowder. Graviela Cruz. Eligio Damien. Tatiana Davenport. Jesus Davila. Jaylee Davis. Jonathan Davis. Roderick Davis. Jessica De La Sancha. Kenny De Leon. Alejandra Diaz. Edwin Diaz. Juan Diaz. Matthew Drake. Kevin Escobar. Jamon Fair. Kia Fields. Carlos Flores. Juan Flores. Rogelio Flores. Caitlin Franks. Hernan Fuentes. Veronica Gallegos. Eva Galvan. Pedro Galvan. Alfredo Garcia. Jesse Garcia. Juan Garcia. Martin Garcia. 
Sergio Gomez. Irvin Gonzalez. Stormy Goodwin. Kimberly Goitia. Keila Graves. Tarika Green. Sylvia Guevara. Harrison Ham. Javier Henderson. Laura Hernandez. Maribel Hernandez. Maribel Hernandez. Regina Hernandez. Joseph Herrera. Portia Hicks. Kienda Holland. Brianna Holly. Katija Hollins Andrews. Christopher Hollins Johnson. Sherman Hopkins. Kevin Hurtado. Tommy Lee Jackson. Karina Jaramillo. Karina Jimenez. Kiambra Jones. Kyle Gerard Jones. Jessica Kelly. Hermesha Kennybrew. Regatia Lacey. Everett Lampkin. Kevin Lemaire. Rakina Lemons. Maria Licea. Eladio Lira. Gerard Lockridge. Alexandria Luna. Brenda Macedo. Wendy Machado. Ingrid Maldonado. Vincenzo Marinero. Brianna Martin. Agustin Martinez. Alma Martinez. Devin Martinez. Valerie Luera. Emmanuel Martinez. Janelle Martinez. Miguel Martinez. Naida Martinez. Suleyma Martinez. Sara Mata. Harley McCoy. Monice McKinney. 
Demisha Meeks. <laughs> Melanie Mendoza. <laughs> Joe Marino. Adan Morales. Dominique Moore. Monique Moore. Deyanira Monreal. Maria Mojica. Devonte Mitchell. Demarcus Miles. Nuria Mejia. Edgardo Alexander Morales. Stephanie Susana Morales. Ruth Areli Moreno. Pearl Navarro. Laquita Nelson. Raymond Neria. Janisha Norris. Miguel Angel Novas. Jessica Otero. Ivan Ortuño. Desiree Horta. Luis Overa. Edwin Oyarzabal. Oniyama Okariki. Maribel Ochoa. Jonathan Ocañas. Manuel Mendoza. Ariana Nunes. Ivan Obregón. Avius Palmer. Easton Elia Perry. Jermaine Posey. Quadri Price. Nigel Pryor. Daisy Ramos. Jose Luis Rangel. Abigail Rayo. Michael Ridge. Laura Rios. Zipori Roberson. Celeste Robledo. Crystal Rivera. Flora Robles. Leslie Rocha. Josue Palma. Omar Ovalle. Damon Dwayne Richardson. Demontre Reagan. Jorge Resendiz. Jose Rodriguez. Magali Rodriguez. Noemi Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez. Marilu Rojas. Omar Roman. Abraham Sanchez. Javier Sanchez. 
Saul Sanchez. Daniel Santana. Dominique Alexander Scott. Roy Session. Carolina Ceturino. Gustavo Reyes. Maria Resendiz. Eddie Don Ross Jr. Delmer Roy. Araceli Salazar. Ernest Salazar. Ladarius Smalley. Beverly Smith. Robert Sosa. Ebony Thomas. Tisharmian Rishan Tolbert. Briad Bond. Jesus Mercado Velasquez. Enrique Villa. Ricardo Villalobos. Cheyenne Walker. Amber Denise Warren. DeAndre Washington. Casey Saldana. Jessica Saldana. Anaila Salinas. Linda Torres. Eduardo Urquiza. Angela Urbina. Saira Valadez. Hector Valdez. Itzayana Valdez. Yvette Valdez. Juan Carlos Vasquez Jr. Bianca Shapriest White. Sasha Williams. Hadassah Williams. Raisha Wilson. Jatavian Wilson. Curtis Woods. Laura Trujillo. Robert Woods. Yeah. 
Jaquel Wright. Timothy Yarbrough. Jose Zamaripa. Kimberly Zamora. Marco Samudillo. Laura Barron. Guadalupe Sandoval. and Marco Vargas. and Flora Alvarado. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge uh, the four seniors graduating that are going into the armed forces. Could you please stand and be recognized? Seniors graduating going into the military. Thank you, you may be seated. And seniors, uh, lastly, before, before we move on to the next part, will you join me in congratulating your parents for all the work that they've done in supporting you? <laughs> Graduates of 2012, please stand and remain standing.
Graduates of 2012, you've earned every moment of tonight's graduation ceremony. At this time, it is my pleasure to request that you move your tassels from right to left. Please remain standing. Remain standing. We could play the school song.